All right, we're now ready for level five. Here it is. Bring it on. Something like 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 9. There, I've done it to us. I've given us an odd number in the middle, and I've put a number in front of the x squared finally. Okay, so we try to draw the box meant with this. I'm a little worried about 3x squared. That's going to give me like root 3s and stuff going in. So can I do something to this equation to make this beginning very nice? Well, I've already got a 3 there. If I multiply through by another 3, that gives me 9x squared, which is lovely plus uh, 15x plus uh, 3 equals 27. So actually that little move just to uh, fix up the very first term. But I've still got an odd term in the middle. Well, what can I do for that? Well, to make it even, we could double it, but we've seen that's going to be problematic, so I'm going to ruin my 9x squared. But what if I multiply by 4? And it's true, it might still ruin my 9x squared, but let's check. Multiply through by 4 gives me 36x squared, but actually that's fine. 6, 6x times 6x plus 60x plus 12 is uh, 27 is 108 if I multiply by 4. All right, that has now given me potentially nice material to work with. A lovely square at the beginning, an even term in the middle, and numbers that I can deal with. So let's try the box method on that. Here goes. Do, 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 do. There's a piece, 36x squared. It must come from 6x, 6x. I made that nice for myself. Or two symmetrical pieces that combine to make 60x. 30x and 30x. Something times 6x makes 30x. That better be 5 and 5. And what's 5 times 5 is 25. So I want the magic number of 25. I don't have the magic number of 12 instead. They're not very magic. But I can make it work. Let's add 13 to both sides. Brilliant. So now it becomes 36x squared plus 60x plus uh, 25, just as I want, equals 108 plus 13 is 121. And why do I like all that? That's exactly what my square is built from. And that's actually going to give me 6x plus 5 squared is 121. Off I go. Something squared is 121. 6x plus 5 is 11 or negative 11. 6x is uh, subtract 5 is 6 or negative uh, 16, x better be 1, or negative 16 sixths, which I guess is negative 8 thirds. Beautiful. There it is. That's the ultimate box method. Multiply through by something to make the beginning nice. Multiply through by 4 if you need to, to make the middle nice. Multiplying by 4 wouldn't ruin a perfect square. You can think about why that would be the case. That step will never ruin your perfect square at the beginning. And the rest should just fall into place for you. That's level 5. Let me clear the board and let's do another example. Okay, another example. 7x squared minus x plus 1 equals 9. 7x squared looks awkward. Um, can I make that a perfect square? Yeah. If I multiply through by another 7, I get 49x squared minus 7x plus 7 is 63. So 49x squared, brilliant. That's 7x times 7x. Got an odd number in the middle. Okay, to deal with that, let's multiply through by 4. Uh, what was it going to be? 196x squared minus 28x plus 28 is, uh, oh my gosh, uh, 2, um, 126, uh, gosh, 252. There we go. Silly me. All right, 252. All right, big numbers, but I think I can handle it. I happen to know that 196 has to be a perfect square because it's basically built from the numbers 7 and uh, 7 and 4, which is 2 and 2. I bet it's 14x times 14x. 14 times 14 is 196. Uh, two pieces the same that make negative 28x, negative 14x, negative 14x. Something times 14x makes negative 14x, negative 1, negative 1. It means I want a plus 1 in there. I don't have a plus 1, so let's subtract 27 from both sides. So my equation really is this square 14x minus 1 squared is 252, take away 27. So that's 222 plus 3 is 225. Again, I was nice to us. 225 happens to be 15 squared. So 14x minus 1 is 15 or negative 15. 14x is 16 or negative 14. x is either uh, 16 fourteenths or negative 1. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. Let's do one more example. Okay, another example. Negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 1. Uh, negative 2x squared. 
That, I don't like that. I want to be a perfect square. Um, let me multiply through by another negative 2. That gives me 4x squared plus 6x minus 18 equals negative 2. 6x looks good. So maybe I'm done. So let's draw the box. 4x squared is 2x and 2x. Uh, two pieces make two, uh, 6x must be 3x, 3x. Something times 2x makes 3x. Uh oh, one and a half. One and a half. Now, I can keep going. The box method will never let you down, but I seem to be in fraction land again. Well, what can I do? Well, maybe if I multiply this through again by some other number, don't ruin my perfect square to make this even more even, which is a silly thing for me to say, but the fact is we've got fractions. If I could somehow double things maybe again, it would be great. But this doubling is not going to do it. Doubling 4x squared makes 8x squared, not a perfect square. So let's multiply by 4 yet again. So let's solve instead 16x squared plus 24x minus 18 times 4, which is um, 72, equals negative 8. Now, this example is actually in the notes, and you'll find, push your way through it, and it actually does work now beautifully. It keeps you in whole number land until the very end with answers and fractions. So give this one a try. In fact, work through the entire section of these notes, and notice if you ever get fraction land at some point, Doubling yet again, well, not doubling because that just ruins our beginning squares, multiplying by 4 is always a handy trick. This box method will never let you down. In fact, the famous quadratic formula can be proved by doing nothing but this box method. Um, I, I, you look at the quadratic formula if you like, you don't need to know it. Know it. This box method is just doing quadratics what they are. They are the symmetry of squares. If you've got the symmetry of squares in your mind, it all just falls through beautifully. All right, practice all the examples in the text, check your answers against the, the solution sets and all the rest. This is all good stuff. Thanks.